Okay, so I wanted to give a little example of what you could achieve uh, with just a couple of hours uh, free to mess around in Unity uh, with iOS. Um, so I haven't really played around that much with iOS development before, so I didn't have a uh, kind of breadth of experience. I've done a little bit of stuff when it first came around a couple of years ago, um, but I haven't really touched it since. So um, I came up with a, just a really basic uh, game concept um, of kind of a bomb uh, survival kind of game. Um, so uh, I've installed it now. Uh, you can see its icon there. Uh, I called it Super Bomb Death. Uh, and the iPhone is abbreviated this to Super Death, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can see the uh, custom icon there that uh, has been put in directly by Unity. So if I launch that game, you'll see the Powered by Unity logo very quickly. And then Super Bomb Death, uh, the game, which is what I've decided to call this little uh, demonstration. So it's nothing polished or finished. Uh, it's just an example of what you could achieve in uh, just a few hours um, in messing around. Uh, in Unity. So I've got a simple tap to play which is just checking if there's any touches on the screen so as soon as I press that I get taken to the game and then I've taken just a simple standard asset uh, thing that's got movement and jump and then added in shooting uh, based on taps on the screen so anytime I tap this box that I've got set up in the background, I'm creating a raycast um, from the point of touch uh, from the camera going to the background and shooting by pointing something in that direction using transform.lookat. So um, it's a fairly simple thing. I've just got a score and I've got lives and I've got a jump. And if I get hit by um, a few bombs and lose my lives, then I'm going to go to a game over screen. So Obviously there's loads more I can add to this game, but it was really just to give you guys a, a quick demo of what you could achieve in a very short amount of time um, using Unity. So that's it.